This is episode 142 now. Good afternoon and welcome to the summer edition of the Daily Wraps Holiday Edition. This is Baron Fear. I have a special guest with me in the studio this afternoon and I'd like to share with you something that I wrote in my book, my book here. And I will, it's called, it's Abo Control. So, good afternoon in my offsider, and I will open the show with my story. Good afternoon, everyone. And here it is. The Lockdown by Barry Finn. This is the first entry. For 13 days I have been in lockdown, and to be quite honest, it has been frustrating. But there has been some good come out of it all. I must not get frustrated when I hear about this lockdown, but I did get furious. Being furious is not the way to go about it. Just grab a cup of tea, sit down, relax, and think about it all. It is the only way to get through the process and everything that's going on. Taking my anger out on someone else because they can't do something is also the wrong thing to do by Barry Fear. Now, guys, this is an example of what I did just there, this morning, just prior to coming on hand with you people this afternoon. Okay, my offsider and I know it's been frustrating, but hey, The only thing we can tell you is calm down, take a chill pill, have a cup of tea or coffee, sit down with someone, write down in a diary how you felt, and as my offside have read the first part of the story, this is very important. Here she is to tell you about it. So, me and Barry were saying this morning, it's really great to kind of write down your emotions, let out how you're feeling, let out that frustration, you know, lock down again, but also know that once you've written it down, once you've let that frustration go, grab a cup of tea, sit down, and everything will be all right. We've all just got to do our part, don't we, Barry? And before we do go to that, I'm going to write something else in the book, mm -hmm. okay? Ways not to handle a situation, mm -hmm. okay? Because I've been in lockdown for 13 days. Tomorrow will be my 14th. And on Thursday, it will be my 15th, so 15 days. I know it may seem a long time, ladies and gentlemen, but like my officer, excuse me, but like my offsider and I have said, it's the only way we can keep safe. And Wear your mask. And like I've been saying on the show too, sanitize. That's very important. Sanitizer kills 99% of germs. Okay? And another thing, if you're not well, if you feel you've got te um, symptoms, go and get tested either at the Northern Beaches, Hospital up here at Francis Forest, or the, Mona, the old Mona Vale Hospital at Mona Vale. Okay? And there's plenty of drive throughs to Newport Beach, and Manly Old Old Hospital, at Palm Beach, there's plenty of spots, guys. So, if they're not hurt, 
and get tested, guys. Please get tested and for your own health, guys. Even if you haven't got symptoms, guys, please do that. Okay. Now, another important fact thing we'd like to say on the show is that, guys, don't be absolute fools and flower rules and have lots of parties on the beach or in caravan parks. Here's my outsider. It's really important that we abide by these rules just for the safety of ourselves and others. And the quicker we all do, the quicker we get rid of it. Because disobeying the rules, guys, Okay, Polly and I cannot stress enough mm -hmm. how important it is not to disobey the rules. Okay, please don't be foolish and think just about yourselves because on Christmas Day, riot police were called in to break up a party in Bronte Beach. Now, what do you think about all of this? I think it's really disappointing. Um, as us as the Northern Beach, especially, we've all been obeying these rules, getting tested, staying home, and it is disappointing to see that. Even at Byron Bay, too, guys. So, uh, if you weren't going to be anywhere without a valid reason, okay? which brings me on very nicely, okay? Do not go into the city on New Year's Eve, okay? And hugging and kissing is not allowed either too, to wish everyone a happy New Year, okay? So we, we know we're being a bit strict on the show, but we had to bring the, the messages up just so that you people know what what is it expected of you and even myself and everyone here in OGN. Okay. So we know that you wanted to get out and I had some fun, but guys, now is not the time, okay? And, and like we said at the beginning of the program, write down in a diary how you felt, and I will just show you viewers. Any uh, diary. Uh, or a notebook, mm -hmm. or even even email your friends, okay? And while I'm delivering my last two messages, I'll just get my upside to write the second entry in them the day. So, in ending our show today, the advice that we'd like to give to you today is please write down in a diary how you felt like I'm doing now. This is my second entry today. Okay, ready? Yep. So write down in a diary? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I will just pause that for a moment while there we go. Well, this is our closing message. What you just saw, and I will just get my upside and show you what is in the diary on this on this page and on 
the first page. Two diary entries. Two diary entries, guys. If the viewers can see it, you can just. This is the first. This is the first entry there. Okay, and the second entry there. So, in anything else, go today. Please, if you've got any concerns, please write down, or if you can't get anybody to write anything, everything down, okay, do a YouTube video. Tell people how you felt. Mm -hmm. Email your friends, get on the phone, or get on Skype, okay? And if you're down and all flat, have a chat to someone about it. They will have plenty of time to listen to you, okay, and they may be able to help you. And to take us out, you can ring Lifeline as well, 13114, and the number that we rely on. 24 hours a day, that is triple zero. Bring them if you are not very well, but only in an emergency. And that is episode 142. Here's my upsider for her closing message and advice now. I think. Um Barry's echoed it really well, guys. It's always someone to listen to you. Always chat about how you're feeling because I assure you, you're not alone. And we really, really urge you, get those frustrations out. Speak to someone, Skype, or even make a voice recording. Just get those emotions out. Thanks for listening today, guys. And watching. And watching. And please do subscribe to the YouTube channel because... It is very important. We know that this has been a very difficult time, ladies and gentlemen, but hopefully it will all be over soon for us and we can get back to our normal day. And just to recap about New Year's Eve, okay, watch the fireworks. On television, okay? Don't go to the city for no reason unless you have a pass. And just about the COVID testing, please go and get tested. This is really important. Um, those locations again, the old Manly Hospital site on Darling Road at Manly, opposite St. Paul's College, Northern Beaches Hospital, up here at Brenton Forest, and the old Moon Vale Hospital site. And on that note, time for us to bid you good afternoon now. Thanks, Polly, for coming on the show. Is there anything you'd like to say to the viewers? Before we go. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for listening. And make sure to subscribe. Barry gives some great tips and tricks every single day of the week. Okay, and remember, don't get angry. Remember, write down in the diary. This is really important. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good afternoon. Um, and and we'll say I will. See you again in a couple of days to farewell 2020 on what has been a very difficult year. Mm -hmm. So from myself now, Barry and Polly, we wish you a safe afternoon, stay dry, don't go out unless you really got to. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Thanks for watching. Good afternoon from episode 142. Episode 143.
coming up in a few days. Good afternoon, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.